In this video, we will spread some knowledge about the German Shepherd as a breed. The German Shepherd isn't the breed for you if you're away from home frequently or for long periods of time. When left alone, they can become anxious or bored and are likely to express their worry in ways you don't like, such as barking, chewing, and digging. German Shepherds are active and intelligent dogs. They must be kept busy learning, playing, and working. Daily exercise, both physical, such as jogging and frisbee, and mental, such as training sessions, is a must. German Shepherds can be aloof and suspicious of strangers. To raise a social and well-behaved dog, expose your German Shepherd puppy to many experiences, places, and people. Obedience training, beginning with puppy classes, is important for getting them used to other people and dogs, as well as teaching them basic canine manners. These dogs shed, shed, shed. In fact, their nickname is the German Shedder. Brush them several times a week and buy a good vacuum. You'll need it. Crate training is not only a wonderful way to house train a puppy, it helps teach them to be calm and happy when separated from their owner. This is especially important for the German Shepherd, who sometimes suffers separation anxiety or extreme anxiety when left alone. They've got a reputation for being a great watchdog, and they are, but the German Shepherd should never be chained or tethered just to stand guard. No dog should, it leads to frustration and aggression. The German Shepherd is happiest living indoors with the family, but with access to a large, fenced yard, where they can burn off some of their natural energy. You can find dogs of almost any breed, including German Shepherds, from your local shelter or breed-specific rescue. Consider adopting before you shop for a breeder. We have divided the German Shepherd facts into the following categories. Number 1. Breed History. It is the best known and most widespread breed in the world, being the national breed of Germany. Wrongly it has been given an Alsatian origin. It is a thousand-year-old breed that has a long line of ancestors starting with the Persian Sheepdog. Because of its vague similarity to the wolf it is also known as the Wolfdog. The breed was brought to its current form at the end of the 19th century by the cavalry captain, Max von Stepanitz through persistent and increasingly finer selections. The WUSV International Organization has the headquarters in Germany and has over a half a million members from 60 countries which deal with the problems of this breed, the German Shepherd Dog being the only breed for which there is such an organization. Number 2. Description. The German Shepherd Dog has an athletic, harmonious, a little over medium-sized body, which is slightly elongated and with the back line sloping towards the tail, seen in profile. It has a long, strong and brawny neck. The head is proportional and conical towards the nose. The forehead is slightly rounded, the muzzle is proportional to the skull and the nose is black. The eyes are medium-sized, almond-shaped, slightly slanting, darker than the coat and they have a lively, clever expression. The ears are proportional to the head, wider at the base, pointy at the tip and kept high, until it has three to four months it carries them drooping. The tail is bushy, long with thick hair, shaped like a sword slightly arched, carried low never on the back. There are three varieties, with short, rough and long hair. The last two are rarely seen. The most spread and loved is the one with short, thick, straight hair that is close to the body, shorter on the head and on the front side of the legs. The fur is double-layered, with a completely black outer layer or with a characteristic brown, red-brown, yellow, metal-gray or gray pattern. Even though it is robust it has an elegant, imposing and attractive look with a trotter walk covering a great area with every step it takes. Number 3. Personality. It is an active, lively, intelligent, watchful, and agile dog with a perfectly well-balanced psyche. Especially brave, firm, strong, resistant, it has a very good sense of smell and is always ready to fight. It easily adapts to every unpredicted situation because of its responsible and independent character. It is faithful, affectionate, and playful with its master and his family, it loves children and it gets along with them if it was socialized. Animals and people are treated with indifference as long as they don't show signs of aggression. Number 4. Size. Males stand 24 to 26 inches, females stand 22 to 24 inches. Weight ranges from 75 to 95 pounds. Number 5. Feeding. A German Shepherd dog diet should be formulated for a large-sized breed with high energy and exercise needs. Number 6. Grooming. Requires relatively little care, 
The brushing should be done especially during the shedding period with a special brush in order to remove dead hair. Number 7. Living Conditions. It doesn't require special living conditions, being resistant to bad weather. This breed is recommended to people who have enough time to reserve for the dog as well as for training and other physical activities. It needs socialization, training and exercise. Number 8. Training. Because of its intelligence it is open to a more complex training. It is an easy dog to educate, to train because it likes to learn and understands quickly. The training must be done mainly by voice. The lack of socialization, exercise and training can transform this dog into a real pain for the master and for those around it. It loves its master very much and it's ready to do anything for him with great pleasure and joy, because of an innate sense of duty. Number 9. Health. German Shepherds are generally healthy, but like all breeds, they're prone to certain health conditions. Not all German Shepherds will get any or all of these diseases, but it's important to be aware of them if you're considering this breed. Hip Dysplasia. Hip Dysplasia is a heritable condition in which the femur doesn't fit snugly into the pelvic socket of the hip joint. Elbow Dysplasia. This is a heritable condition common to large breed dogs. Gastric Dilatation Volvulus. Commonly called bloat. This is a life-threatening condition that affects large, deep-chested dogs like Golden Retrievers, especially if they are fed one large meal a day, eat rapidly, drink large volumes of water after eating, and exercise vigorously after eating. Degenerative Myelopathy Degenerative myelopathy is a progressive disease of the spinal cord, specifically the part of the cord that communicates information to the brain regarding the hind legs. Exocrine Pancreatic Insufficiency EPI is a genetic disease of the pancreas in which the cells that produce digestive enzymes are destroyed. Allergies. Some German Shepherds suffer from a variety of allergies, ranging from contact allergies to food allergies. Number 10. Usefulness. In its home country, Germany, it is still used for guarding and working with herds and flocks. But it is also the best and most used dog for security and utility. Its psychological and physical qualities gave the possibility to use it in the most varied fields of activity, security, defense, guide dog for blind people, mountain rescue, intervention dog in case of natural cataclysms, fires, tracking down drugs. What are your thoughts on this breed? Let us know what you think by commenting below. Please like and share the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more videos.